Well, welcome back to St. Joseph, the fifth stop on the Fox 9 Town Ball Tour now. And we got the game already underway between the Joes and the Avon Lakers here. I don't know if we have a score yet. I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think we had a foul ball. Right. Ball. I know right. that. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you can't talk about St. Joseph unless you also talk about um, St. John's and St. Benedict's. And uh, we've got Michael Hemish here from, from the schools. Thanks for joining us here. The, the city along with the two universities, are just really combined, aren't they? Absolutely. I mean, on behalf of all the students, employees, and the thousands of alumni, welcome to St. Joe. Thank you for, for coming. Um, yeah, I mean, just as St. Ben's and St. John's have a wonderful partnership, the schools have a great partnership uh, with the city of St. Joe. I mean, St. Ben's has been in existence for 110 years. St. John's over 160 years. And... Uh, you know, the partnership runs deep. Community members can come to campus, uh, enjoy athletic events, uh, fine arts events, speakers, and the students and employees can benefit from all the amenities that are in St. Joe. And there's also some familiar faces out there because some of the students are St. Joe's players. A absolutely. You know, over the years, uh, for those that... Uh, grew up in the area uh, and are, uh, you know, town ball players, or if they're maybe staying um, in the in St. Joseph for the summer doing research projects or something on campus, th this is an outlet for them uh, to continue their baseball interests. And obviously, um, Joey Stock uh, is a prime example of that, doing so very well in the Boston Red Sox yeah. uh, organization right now. And is he one of your alums? Yes, yes. Uh, uh, played for St. Joseph uh, mm -hmm. and also then uh, St. John's University and had a wonderful, wonderful career. You know, give us a little historical perspective here. Why St. Joseph? Why did St. John's and St. Benedict's settle here? Well, all that credit goes to the sisters of St. Benedict's Monastery and the monks mm -hmm. of St. John's Abbey, who uh, were the the founders of both institutions. Um, they were there um, uh, first, and uh, they found that education was an important part uh, of, of their mission here in central Minnesota. And, and so uh, uh, thank goodness that they, that they um, were able to create two fabulous institutions of higher education, uh, around 3,000 students right now. I was just about to say, after 100 years, you're not just surviving, you're right. thriving. Right, right. 3,000 students, 800 employees, uh, tens of thousands of alumni all over the world doing wonderful things. And when you attract people here, it's just not students from Minnesota. It's from people, as you mentioned, from across the world. What do you think it is about St. Joseph that when kids come here, they tour the campus and they're like, this is where I want to spend the next four years? Yeah, I, I think it's the the welcoming community that they feel. Um, uh, once they come on the campus, they really do feel that this is a place that they could call home for four years. Michael Hemish from St. John's and St. Benedict's, thanks so much for spending a little bit of time with us here tonight. My we pleasure. Really appreciate it. Thank you for coming to town. You, you know, we love your town so much. We've sent Jennifer out and about. <laughs> she's been a couple of places already, and but she's now at Sal's downtown, which is kind of an institution here, Jennifer. Okay, so here's the deal. I love a good dive bar. If you're looking for a good dive bar, then I can't wait to show you this place. It is awesome. This place is Sal's. This is where a lot of the college students at St. Benedict's and St. John's comes. And I love that there's a monastery right across the street. That's Catholicism right there. Love it. Love it. <laughs> but yeah, so let's go ahead and step into Sal's because it is a fantastic place. We're already making friends. And you know what's, you know what's torture is sending the pregnant lady to a dive bar that she loves. Okay, friends, let's see. Let's see. What do we have here? Okay, so how many times have you guys been to Sal's? Oh, gosh. Every week. Every week? Every, Every week. week. All right. He is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sir. <laughs> this guy. Yeah, yeah. So is it a little different during the school year? A little more packed, perhaps? Oh, yeah, when the students are here. Oh, it's yeah. Shoulder to shoulder. Pretty much, <laughs> yep. That yeah. is awesome. Yeah. Okay, what are you drinking here? I feel a little left out. You know, I have to wait till December. One small beer, and then I'm going home. One small beer? One small, yep. One small. <laughs> Man, yeah, that, that's, it looks nice and cold, too. You want a sip? Oh, I wish I'm pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Torture. Why do okay. they send? Why do they send the pregnant lady to a dive bar? Right? 
All right, what are your names? Sandra. Gary. Gary. All right, what are you guys drinking right now? We're drinking Sal's Light Sal's Beer. Light. All right, Sal's Light Beer. It's the best, and it's super cold. Look at that. <laughs> super cold. We sure love that. Okay, now who do, who do we have behind the bar? Excuse me. Who do we have behind the bar? Dave. Dave, how long have you been working here? I've uh, been here four, maybe five years. No, she asked how long you've been working here. <laughs> <laughs> Three hours today. Okay, so uh, what, what, what would you say is your most popular drink that you guys serve here? Uh, for the students, probably like just rum and cokes, and then uh, <laughs> Sal's Light, very popular. Ah, yeah. Sal's Light, all right. Well, yeah, so this is an awesome bar. It's big, so you can tell on game days and maybe when school's in session, it's definitely a popular spot to go to. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the seven-day forecast. Oh, yes? Beautiful tables. We have the maker of these beautiful tables sitting right here, Gary Belt. Oh, my God. Okay, wait, so come here real quick. Are, are these, um, it looks like hardwood floor. Is it like old basketball court? It's just a ton of pine boards. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. And how long have I stayed in them? Oh my gosh, yeah. these are really cool. Oh, thank you. Let's go take a look at them because they are pretty sweet. Yeah, nice sows. You got College St. Benedict's on it. This is this is pretty cool. This is pretty sweet. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at that seven day forecast real quick. Today is a beautiful day for a ball game to go get ice cream to, I don't know, maybe go get a cold beer perhaps. And we are looking at this weather staying pretty nice. Temperature staying in the 70s as we wrap up this week. And then the 80s arrive by Saturday and we will continue to stay consistent in the low to mid 80s for the rest of the seven day forecast. And guess what? That's average for this time of the year. So the past few days when we've been sitting in the 90s for daytime highs, we'll finally get those 80s. Okay, we're talking a break, my friend. What's your name? My name's Mike Twight. Can you go ahead and say, all right, we'll send it to break. Send it to break right now. Right now. <laughs>